I'm Dr. Samantha. I'm a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner with over 13 years nursing experience, working in mother baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, perinatal mental health certified, and maternal newborn nursing certified. Vaginal discharge can make every pregnant mom nervous, wondering whether it is normal or not. Today we'll be explaining everything you need to know about vaginal discharge during your pregnancy. So click those like and subscribe buttons and stay with us. So the first question you may be asking yourself is, is it even normal to have discharge during your pregnancy? Well, the answer is yes, it can be. Your cervix and your vaginal walls get softer during your pregnancy. This is due to increased progesterone, which also helps you secrete more fluid. This fluid helps to protect the uterus by preventing infection from traveling to it. This is why you may experience more secretions during your pregnancy. So what does normal discharge look like? Normal discharge during pregnancy is usually clear to creamy white. It is mild smelling sometimes, but most of the time it has no smell or is odorless. It's caused by increased estrogen, which makes your vagina produce more. Now, this discharge can be thin to thick or mucus-like, but normally it does not leak continuously. That is considered an abnormal type of discharge. Also, you should not have any fishy smell any pain, itching, or burning. Any of these are signs that you should contact your healthcare provider. So pink discharge could be a normal discharge, considered the bloody show. This only happens at the end of your pregnancy, and it can be an early sign of labor. This basically may also be called your mucus plug. It usually will look like jelly or mucus, and it might be sticky and contain streaks of pink. While it can be normal, you want to contact your healthcare provider so that they can assess the situation. They may want to bring you into the hospital for delivery. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you can get our latest content. So there are a few colors of discharge that could be normal, or they might be not normal. The first is pink. And what you should know is that pink is not normal if it is watery or it happens more than a few weeks away from your due date. Brown, especially if it's watery, is not considered a normal color. Red, especially if it's watery or you're actively bleeding, is also considered a warning sign. Be sure to always call your healthcare provider for these types of discharge so they can assess you further. There are a few colors of discharge that are almost 100% of the time abnormal and you should always have checked out by your healthcare provider. The first one is yellow. Yellow is usually urine and it will be associated with a frothy look and an unpleasant smell. This is usually a sign of a urinary tract infection. Green, especially if it's watery or frothy and has an unpleasant smell, is associated with many other types of infection. Gray, especially if it's watery or has a fishy smell, is associated with infection. Be sure to call your healthcare provider if you have any of these types of discharge. The reason is because infection can lead to preterm labor and miscarriage. Now that we've talked about color, let's talk about types of discharge. So there are several types of discharge that you want to be aware of that are considered abnormal and you should call your provider. The first is a milky or opaque type of discharge. You want to make sure you contact your provider because while sometimes normal, it can also be sometimes abnormal. Most normal discharge is clear. Now, you may have a clear type of discharge, but if it's watery, that can be a sign of infection or leaking amniotic fluid, which can be a medical emergency. Finally, if the discharge is thick and lumpy, this can be a sign of infection like yeast. So now that we've talked about discharge, 
you're wondering, what do I do about it? So the first thing is you wanna make sure you're wearing cotton underwear. Cotton underwear is breathable and it allows a lot of air to get to the vagina to help keep it as dry as possible. You wanna use panty liners on your underwear so that you can change them regularly and your underwear doesn't get soiled, which could cause infection. Make sure you're also bathing daily to help prevent infection, but you don't wanna use any special products. Special cleaning wipes can cause urinary tract infections, and that's not good because it can lead to preterm labor and miscarriage. Also, you don't want to douche because that can lead to an infection called bacterial vaginosis. Make sure when you're going to the bathroom, you wipe from front to back because some of that discharge may collect bacteria that can lead to some of those infections. And finally, make sure you change out of sweaty or wet clothes as soon as possible. So let's recap. There are many reasons why you always want to contact your healthcare provider. First, if you see any kind of red or blood, it's a no-go, you have to contact your healthcare provider or go to the emergency room. Next, if you have any kind of smell to your discharge, which could indicate infection. If you have itchy or painful symptoms, this could be a sign of yeast and you want to contact your healthcare provider. Finally, if the consistency is thick or if you have colorful discharge, be sure to let them know what is going on. I hope this video has helped you learn what vaginal discharge looks like during your pregnancy and when to contact your healthcare provider. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you can get, learn the latest in pregnancy, labor, and early childhood parenting. Share this video with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.